After a round one DQ win over New Brunswick, the Saints are back in action here. CCA Saturdays now officially getting underway. Going to be playing against Indiana University Crimson. A very, very solid squad. I think we've seen them a couple times before in some other qualifiers. So going to be Christian, Kamal, and Quint taking up the reins for the Saints today. Yeah, definitely not a school you want to mess with and take too lightly. And Quint almost finding that out the wrong way, but he's able to be in the net for that save. And coming in from IU, we do got Soggy, Drew, Pete, and... Velocity, I believe, is that last one? Yeah. Kamal, wow. finding a quick one, just absolutely running it in on the ground there. Not really taking it, you know, too much with it. Look at that. Yeah. Popping it right over Drew Pete there. Nice little give it go in front of the crease. Saints going to get on the board nice and early, and that's got to feel good. You know, they had to sit around 10, 15 minutes. New Brunswick had some connection issues, so unfortunately had to concede the match. So the Saints got some time to scrim this morning, but ultimately, once you get in-game, it's a whole different pace of play. The speed of the game is entirely different, so really good to see them come out, get that early goal, and try to kick this day off in the right fashion. Not for sure, and Soggy trying to get one back. Velocity. Shot's not going to be good, just a little too wide on the net there. And now you've got Kamal and Quint there for the saves. Not much you can do against a rock-solid defense like that. Going to be popped back out to Christian, sending it high. But still, a lot of time spent at this half mark. Soggy, gonna go a, little, a little 360 flip there is going to be denied by Kamal Christian. Going to find the demo as well. Kamal, no boost on the left wall there. Going to get the give and go. Shot's not going to find the mark. Christian going to get the ball saved. Quint. Now going to be into the corner here, trying to make a play, not going to find that second touch. Indiana will clear for the time being. Drew Pete going to be there for the follow, going to be played out there by Kamal. Going to be cycled back into the Saints end here, still trying to get this ball out of the corner. And just like you said, a lot of time in the neutral zone. The Saints, while they got that early goal, just, you know, a bit of a feeling out process to start things off here. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, very typical for the first game in a Rocket League set. And Quint going to come in, assist from Kamal. Flying in, find the tap there, and that's going to be the second goal for the Saints, starting off strong here. Honestly, I thought Kamal's shot was almost going to go in the net there, too. Yeah, he got same. bumped by the uh, the Indiana member there, and it looked like it was maybe going to find the angle, but nonetheless, Quint going to be there to drive that one home, increase this lead to two, and say, these are only best of three, so your window for mistakes is extremely, extremely limited, so you want to make sure you get out ahead of the scorecards here. Don't let the other team back in the game too quickly, Indiana. Going to pressure early on, though. They're going to find a good chance. Quint is going to clear that one out, though. Going to be played in front of the net there. A little, little bit dangerous there by, I believe it was Saar Colosity. Is going to get demoed, though. Shot across the goal line. Kamal, second of the day on his third shot. Beautiful play in front of the net there. And look at Colosity, maybe not getting quite the touch he wanted. Demo and fin finish are going to go through. And just like that now, 3-0. Ah, yeah, there is no stopping the Saints right now. And it's weird because... It feels like a lot of this game has been Saints playing on defense and the second they make it out of that orange zone there, it seems like there's been a goal every time. Yeah, they're doing a great job of getting that counter attack ready. We're gonna see Quint playing on the back line here, trying to hold things down. A lot of collisions going on in front of the Indian net there. Quint is gonna come step up here, try to make a play into the corner. Velocity, maybe not gonna get the angle he wanted. Gonna go far side, Quint not gonna find the net. Christian gonna be there to keep the cycle going. Indiana now gaining possession back in their zone. Going to drive this one out toward midfield. Decent little shot on net, possibly. Is going to get denied for the time being. Possession is going to go over to the Saints. Indiana doing a really good job, though, of trying to keep the pressure on. Can't find that second touch, though. But they are still threatening in front of this net. Yeah, they've got the setup here. They're always keeping that ball centered. Always have someone there at the midfield for the shot. Soggy not going to be ready for it just yet with that defender right on him. And now it's actually going to be Saints taking it high. Kamal, you're not going to find that tap in the air, and it's going to be cleared out by Colossity. Yeah, really good back and forth. Both teams, you can tell they're you know not making a ton of mistakes. The Saints found their two windows to find the goals, and those are the only two, or I say three. I forgot they scored the third goal already, but up to that 3-0 lead now. Only a minute 50 to play Kamal. Try to get a little reset pass there. Not going to find the mark. Can be played up there by, I believe, Velocity. Pass over the middle. Not going to find the mark. Kamal is going to find the demo as well. So Indiana have found a lot of really good chances. Just can't finish and bury it. Christian, though. Goal line. Going to get the second touch. Oh, going to get denied by Drew Pete. Potentially game saving. Assuming Indiana can somehow crawl their way back into this one. Massive save there. I really thought Kamal had, you know, locked that oh, one yeah. down after the first touch off of Soggy. But it's the second defender to come in. Drew Pete saving them from that fourth goal, trying to keep them in this game. But minute 20 left, a minute 15 now as the clock runs down and a three goal lead is staring down IU Crimson right now. Quick one from Colossity from the middle, but so many of their balls just 
going to that that backboard, that yeah. crossbar, and just really not hitting the mark on the net. Yeah, and St. Clair has done a really good job of playing it off of the backboard, not really allowing those second and third chances. So even though in the end they're getting into the zone, maybe getting a decent crack of the net, they're not finding those repeated chances when the net is crashing. Everyone is scrambling, trying to find the angle. Saints have done a very good job holding down that back end, just trying to tick this clock away. They know only 45 seconds to play. Pretty substantial lead here. Indiana gonna threaten though. There Bar down. Pete is gonna find them there on the redirect. So Indiana gonna try to crawl their way back in this one. 39 seconds now to get two more. Yeah, and once again, right off of, not the crossbar that time, but right off of Quint <laughs> up and Bar down once again. And that's gonna be the first one for IU. 40 seconds, two goals. That's very possible. Yeah, this is absolutely now, you know, Indiana, they had to get that one at the time they did, especially I think, you know, if you wait till 20 seconds to find your first goal, like sure, you could score twice in 20 seconds, but I wouldn't necessarily want to count on that, especially the Saints have been playing phenomenal defense. Quinn is going to find the demo, Colossity going to answer on one of Kamal with his own there. Maybe Kareem back up toward the middle. Indiana going to get a shot on net, try to send it over. Pass is not going to find the mark. That would have been a very, very strong play for them, but ball is going to go back toward their end just hanging in the air and the Saints they'll take this all day trying to find one more goal but ultimately the clock is ticking down here into single digits only five seconds left Kamal one more for the road possibly going to be denied at the goal line but nonetheless the Saints are going to walk away with a game one win it looks like it'll be 3-1 as the final score yeah beautiful to see from the Saints you know get that lead early on and then even in that last minute when the comeback you know kind of starts off of that goal for I believe it was Drew Pete there yeah he you know they play start getting yep. super aggressive and start keeping this ball in that blue side there and you know just run down the clock yep. really like we said like 40 seconds two goals it's doable not if you're giving away 10 seconds every time yep. saints touch the ball and there you just see by the score line look at those shot counts actually is that less shots from the Saints look or at, actually even shots from both sides there? I was going to say, look at the Saints. Six saves on mm. seven shots for the side of IU. So locking down that back end, just not letting anything through. Kamal going to fill up the stat sheet there, you know, going for that triple-double, going to find a couple goals, a yeah. couple saves. They ain't going to get a lot of shots on net. So very good all-around game. The defense was stout right up until the end there. So the Saints, you got a lot to be feeling good about after that first game. And now yeah, the beauty definitely. of a best of three, only one more to close it out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, these matches, like like I said earlier, Quick. like these are going to fly by, especially uh, in these earlier rounds when it is best of three. I mean, we know how fast Rocket League games yeah. can go. <laughs> and really, that's the, another problem now if you're IU, right? I was gonna another say. problem with the best of three is now you're currently in the reverse sweep situation yeah. after only dropping one game. St. Clair, one game away from closing this out. Now let's see if they can start with, you know, as fast and as solid of a start as the Saints found last game because now we've gotten game one of the way. You know, we talk about that being kind of the feel-out game for a lot of these teams and very common that, you know, you don't see a crazy, crazy first game or even a crazy, crazy first minute or yep. two as just these teams kind of feel each other out. But now, you know, at the end there, it seems like IU kind of had an idea of how these Saints like to play defense and, you know, they're starting to pick it apart. So see if they can take that into this game and really make those adjustments solid. Yeah, they're going to have to make some quick adaptations, make some quick adjustments. They are going to once again put some good pressure on in this early game, though. The Saints try to play this one out. Kamal or Christian there going to be there for the little flick. Pass not going to go through, though. Going to be a good chance for IU, but Kamal going to be there to save that one, knock that one right down the middle. Once again, that counterattack proving to be threatening at any time from the Saints' own end. Drew Peak going to play that one in reverse. Going to get that pass off there to Colossity. Christian is going to be there for the play. Doesn't have any boost to mess with. Is still going to find that second touch. Now Kamal. Going to take the Disguiser off the ceiling. Can he make anything happen off the backboard? Second member follows. Crossbar and down. Ball not going to find this way in. Saints still going to be stuck at zero for the time being, but they are definitely threatening. What a scuffle at the net there, and it's crazy how it did not end with a goal. Just bouncing on the goal line over and over, but Christian going to come back in over and over again. These Saints are going to be finding these opportunities, and look at that bounce. Perfect tap over Soggy there. Yeah, beautiful job. Dig that ball out of the corner. That was a pretty crazy pinch. Indiana, obviously not the ideal spot that pinch was going to go. They didn't really have any choice of where it was going to go. Christian, luckily there at the perfect time, making a great play, adjusting the angle. And that's exactly how the Saints wanted to open up game two. Try to put that pressure on Indiana. Start to put the pressure on them. See if you can make those cracks start to appear more frequently. And then try to, you know, score that second, score that third goal, and really try to take over this game. Yeah, because... In the end, you've got three more minutes to play with, and Saints have showed us that they can get these leads against this team. They definitely know their way around this oh. defense by now. Air demo coming out from Kamal, and that's going to set up perfectly for Quint to score number two in the game. 
Yeah, that was a little bit of a disaster in front of the net there. Demos, bumps, and everything of the likes going through Quint. Luckily going to be there to keep that one on his nose, bury that one. And just as we said before, the Saints looking to build these two three-goal leads. His leads can slip away so quickly. Even in yesterday's series, I think we saw we saw tons of times. We saw four or five goals in the last minute alone, just off a of like you know random NECC weekly matchup. So with all the CCA pressure on the line, every team they realize you go down to losers bracket early in the day, you're gonna have to run to the gauntlet to get back. And the Saints realizing that trying to get out ahead early and they have done a fantastic job so far. Yeah, I mean, you saw the sheer amount of teams in the bracket yeah. earlier. That's just, it's so that's just one of these East pools too. <laughs> so yeah, definitely you find your way into the loser's bracket, you're gonna be battling out six, seven, eight rounds in yeah. that loser's bracket. And you know, you have, you have no more safety net at that point. You really don't wanna be in that situation for a second round in the day. Now, Christian, Kind of set something up mid here. He's going to battle it out in the corner. It's actually Quinn to grab it and send it high. Is there a teammate to convert off of it? Kamal is there, and Christian set up mid, but it's just going to go high from Colossity's save. Yeah, and Christian just actually bumped whoever. I think I can't tell who was trying to air dribble it. Maybe Colossity bumped him out of the air off that dribble. Indiana going to get a good shot here. They are going to find the rebound. Bouncing ball. Going to find the back of the Saints. That Indiana going to cut this lead in half now. Just down 2-1. to one. 2-0-1 left on the clock as well. Just a beautiful play over the middle. And finally, one of their very, very strong passing plays makes do. Yeah, it's, you know, they finally find that angle. It finally doesn't hit that backboard. And I definitely think, you know, IU, from what I've seen from them so far in these, like, eight minutes or so, they've got the foundations to make this game work. They've, you know, they definitely can make this reverse sweep happen right now. They just got to... Yeah, you really take those passing opportunities that they find often, and if you can convert those into a goal against the Saints defense, you're going to be living happy for yeah. sure in the rest of the series. Yeah, this has been more good Saints defense and less bad Indiana offense. They've had mm. a ton of really great yeah. plays over the middle. They found really good ways to put pressure on, get the counterattack going, get the balls out of the corner. Just the Saints reading the passing lanes really well, shutting things down before they can really get going. And obviously Indiana, they did find that one goal, that first goal. Now a minute 15 to play the Saints, just trying to hold on to this lead, trying to send Indiana into that loser's bracket nice and early. And Christian, going to play this one back out of his own corner. Maybe a little bit of a misfire there. Great little pinch there to go back for the other corner though. So really awkward angle. But once again, that'll be another 10 seconds off the clock. And a couple more times like that, the Saints are going to be feeling real good about themselves. Yeah, for sure. And Velocity trying to get something set up here. Bounces off a of Drew Peep, but it's actually Quint to be taking it in the corner and really shutting down these plays before they can even get started, like you said. And now it's Christian on the breakaway. He's able to find the demo. This is Quint's time to set something up here. But already, third player now back up, and Kamal not going to hit the three-pointer there. I thought he was going to hit a, an elbow jumper there and put that one in and pretty much ice this game. Back the other way, though. Well, is going to send it toward the net there. Going to have to go get some boost in the meantime. Quint's going to be there for the follow. Going to try to make some play here. Is going to win the 50. Drew Pete battling it out the corner there with Quint. Now Christian over the midfield. Kamal is going to be left to his own devices. Actually finds a shot. Saints are going to have to rotate back, though. That was a fantastic contest in the air. I'm not sure any Saints were on that back half of the field yet. That ball could have been screaming back toward the net. Saints now going to get that full rotation. Indiana can maybe have one or two more chances to pass it. It looks like that chance has come and gone. Same with their winner's bracket run. They will drop down the Saints. Take it in 2 nothing fashion. Yeah, in a much tighter game in that second game yep. as well. Indiana, they made the adjustments. Hey. Just It's like they didn't have enough time to yep. really put them into work as Saints grabbed those leads so early on. Like they so often do in, yep. in so many of these Rocket League games. And 2-1 now taking that 2-0 in the series yep. and going to be the Saints moving on to round three of the winner's bracket now. Um, not sure if we have opponents for next game locked in just yet or if we're waiting on some other games. We'll let you know in a second here. But overall, solid first yeah. actual series from the Saints here in yeah. CCA Open. Yeah, really good to see. The defense was really, really stout. They're able to find a couple nice goals as well. You want to, you know, put everything together, especially on a day like this in best of threes. Your window for mistakes is is like this big, if anyone mm -hmm. can even see this far in the camera. It's very, very small. You don't really have a lot of room to make errors, especially with good teams. And honestly, I think it'll be good to play these solid teams like Indiana early on in the bracket, at least kind of get yourselves geared up and ready to go because things are going to keep escalating as we get farther and farther down the line here. So very, very good job to, you know, come off the DQ, not exactly have all the time to play, and then come back and take that series. And now they're going to move on and play the UCF Citronauts. Is that like a uh, an orange astronaut? 
<laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, lemon lemon astronaut. Not sure I've heard that word before, but I, I'm I'm here for it. So the Saints going to be playing UCF Citronauts on the other side. I think we are going to throw it to a very very quick break in between, though. We'll let the Citronauts and the Saints mm -hmm. get into the lobby in a few minutes here. Oh, yeah. We'll catch you guys back on the other side. Winners bracket run continues. You don't want to miss it. Picking up the reins for the Saints today. Yeah, definitely not a school you want to mess with and take too lightly. And Quint almost finding that out the wrong way, but he's able to be in the net for that save and. Coming in from IU, we do got Soggy, Drew P, and Kelocity, I believe, is that last one? Yeah. Ball. Wow. Finding a quick one, just absolutely running it in on the ground there. Not really taking it, you know, too much with it. Look at that. Yeah. Popping it right over Drew P there. Nice little give. Going to be played out there by Kamal. Going to be cycled back into the Saints end here. Still trying to get this ball out of the corner. And just like you said, a lot of time in the neutral zone. The Saints, while they got that early goal, just, you know, a bit of a feeling out process to start things off here. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, very typical for the first game in a Rocket League set. And Quint going to come in. Assist from Kamal flying in. Find the tap there. And that's going to be the second goal for the Saints. Starting off strong here. Honestly, I thought Kamal's shot was almost going to go in the net. There, yeah, so he got same. bumped by the uh, the inning into the zone. Maybe getting a decent crack of the net. They're not finding those repeated chances when the net is crashing. Everyone is scrambling, trying to find the angle. Saints have done a very good job holding down that back end. Just trying to tick this clock away. They know only 45 seconds to play. Pretty substantial lead here. Indiana going to threaten, though. There Bar down. Is. Pete is going to find them there on the redirect. So Indiana going to try to crawl their way back in this one. 39 seconds now to get two more. Yeah, and once again, right off of... Not the crossbar that time, but right off of Quint <laughs> up and bar down once again. Velocity Christian is going to be there for the play. Doesn't have any boost to mess with. Is still going to find that second touch. Now Kamal going to take the disguiser off the ceiling. Can he make anything happen off the backboard? Second member follows. Crossbar and down. Ball not going to find its way in. Saints still going to be stuck at zero for the time being. But anything happen off the backboard. Second member follows. Crossbar and down. Ball not going to find its way in. Saints still going to be stuck at zero for the time being. But they are definitely threatening. What a scuffle at the net there, and it's crazy how it did not end with the goal. Just bouncing on the goal line over and over, but Christian got to come back in over and over again. These Saints are going to be finding these opportunities, and look at that bounce. Perfect tap over Soggy there. Yeah, beautiful job. Dig that ball out of the corner. That'll take over this game. Yeah, because in the end, you've got three more minutes to play with, and Saints have showed us that they can get these leads against us. Definitely know their way around this defense oh. by now. Air demo coming out from Kamal, and that's going to set up perfectly for Quint to score number two in the game. Yeah, that was a little bit of a disaster in front of the net there. Demos, bumps, and everything of the likes going through Quint. Luckily going to be there to keep in the corner. It's actually Quint to grab it and send it high. Is there a teammate to convert off of it? Kamal is there, and Christian... Set up mid, but it's just going to go high from Colossity's save. Yeah, and Christian just actually bumped whoever. I think, I can't tell who was trying to air dribble it. Maybe Colossity bumped him out of the air off that dribble. Indiana going to get a good shot here. They are going to find the rebound. Bouncing ball. Going to find the back of the Saints set. Indiana going to cut this lead in half now. Just down 2-1. to one. 2 one left on the clock as well. Just a beautiful play over the middle. And finally, one of their very, very picking up the reins for the Saints today. Yeah, definitely not a school you want to mess with and take too lightly. And Quint almost finding that out the wrong way, but he's able to be in the net for that save. And coming in from IU, we do got Soggy, Drew P, and Kelocity, I believe is that last one. Yeah. Kamal. Wow. Finding a quick one, just absolutely running it in on the ground there. Not really taking it, you know, too much with it. Look at that. Yeah. Popping it right over Drew P there. Nice little give. Going to be played out there by Kamal. Going to be cycled back into the Saints end here. Still trying to get this ball out of the corner. And just like you said, a lot of time in the neutral zone. The Saints, while they got that early goal, just, you know, a bit of a feeling out process to start things off. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, very typical for the first game in a Rocket League set. And Quint going to come in. Assist from Kamal. Flying in. Find the tap there. And that's going to be the second goal for the Saints. Starting off strong here. Honestly, I thought Kamal's shot was almost going to go in the net. There, yeah, so he got same. bumped by the... Uh...